What's up, Yugi Tubes? Pangor321 here. We got Ben Willis, 8th place, Fargo, North Dakota Regional, Satellar Knights. You can go ahead and get started whenever you want, man. Okay, I played three Denebs. That's a staple, you gotta play it in everything. <laughs> if, you're playing, if you're playing Stellar Knights, you gotta play three. What about two? Never. Alright. Three Altairs. The card's the best. No matter what anybody tells me. He's pretty, he's, he's pretty damn good. Two ukuleles. I don't know how to say his damn name, so I call it ukulele. Uh, that card won me a couple games because people would go into Light Imprisoning Mirror and I would just sit there and attack for 18s. Two Vegas, just because Vegas, the nuts, lets you summon that guy, then that guy summons that guy, then that guy switches that guy. And then this was just a one of. It's a new one. It's a pot of avarice, except you only get to draw one card. Uh, I actually use this a lot for like my extra deck stuff to return that. Uh, I played one Alsham. Uh, I actually won four <laughs> games with this. I would just call the haunted it because when their turn started. It's, all, it's almost just weird, like how good it is, because considering all it does is do a thousand damage. Like that yeah, thousand but matters. that thousand fucking matters a lot. Yeah. And that's my monster lineup. I only had 12. This thing actually won me a couple games too, because it would just return stuff and let me draw. Right. Like especially when I was. Well, just and then like you could game. like you could put like Vegas and Altairs back, and then you could just like, yeah. get on a draw them later again. Yep. And that was the monster lineup. See how perfectly it worked out that it was me, Aaron, For spells, I played three MSTs. Just, I had I had to play three MSTs. Just because I felt like uh, Light Imprisoning Mirror would hurt me a lot. So I played three. Then Royal Decree and all that. I, I like to stop it. Right. Nobody wants to deal with traps. Three Rotas. I just like to thin the deck out a lot, so that's what they do. They just search each other. So <laughs> they, just say, they say warrior on it, so I yeah. wrote it. So I just wrote it. Uh, three upstart goblins. I was debating on not playing them, just because I hate giving them the thousand. But I'm doing more than a thousand damage a turn, so <coughs> no matter like, no matter what. Right. So I like to draw, thin the deck a little bit more. Two pot of dualities. Nah. Uh, I just had it in there. Just threw it in. I needed two cards. I didn't really use it. I never really saw it either. <coughs> I played one Regeki. I never really played that either. I didn't need it. I just I just held it in case they came back. Right. Uh, one Soul Charge. Just because I can only play one. Just the nuts. And then one Dark Hole. People gave me a lot of shit for playing both of these at the same time because they just give everything else searches. I don't care about the searches. I would just special summon and beat him in the face and then win by that way. So that's that's how I did it. And I like the double destruction. I never really used it, but there was times when I needed it, but it didn't win me the game. It just it just made it a lot easier for me to win. And then I played. Three alphas. That's broken. Every time I drew this first hand, yeah, I won. You have to. It's a teller alpha. If if I didn't, I either lost or I made it live. I made myself live for a pretty good amount of time until I saw it. Three call the haunted. This call the haunted is way too good in this deck because you just special summon any one of these. And you get their effects. Like it's just it's big. And then I played three. I played three dimensional prisons. They're pretty good. It's, it's all right. It's all right. And I played two wire taps. That card actually saved me a lot. That card is the best. <laughs> I stopped the entity's emptiness and just ran myself with it. Right. And then I played one tarantula, one solemn, and one bottomless. Yeah, it's just a staple one of the standard traps. Just you have to play them. You don't have to play tarantula, but I like it. Okay, here's the extra deck. It's all rank fours. Played 15 cards. I played a Dark Rebellion Exodus Dragon. It's, it won me two games, and it was actually given to me two seconds before the tournament started by my good friend here, Eric Jackson. It was good. It's all right. Helped me win a lot. Yeah. And I played two Deltros. I really didn't go into them as much as I thought I would. 
But when I did, I won. <laughs> but like by that time, I basically already won. Uh, I played one honor arc. He won me. He won me a game as well. I played one Excalibur. Never played it. I played one X ton. Not once used it. This is the MVP of the deck right here. This Triver. When you'd X, you summon it, it just return everything. So I'd have like two or three Call of Haunted, just dead. Then I'd make it, and then it'd just turn it back to my hand. And then I would be like, okay, I'm going to pitch my Denan, and pitch a card from your hand. And then I would always use that serious guy to return it, because I only have one. If I had more, I'd play more than, I'd play two. At least two? Yeah, I'd play What would you take two. out for it? Oh, I'd, I would probably take out that piece of shit. <laughs> I never used it. It's good at, like, situations, but I would rather play two triggers than Excalibur. Right. And then I played Gangron. He was just a fat ass. He worked for a little bit, didn't do too much. And if I like needed it to target my Trevier instead of him and then get my Trevier effect when I destroyed, I like that. So, and I played Blade Armor Ninja. Everybody was telling me to play it, but I, I didn't use a single one of these two. It, everybody told me it, it's staples in the deck. I didn't use it. Didn't need it. Three, like, I went into this, 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 and uh, Black Ship of Corn a lot. Card won me a game just because I would do that in a L Sham. And that's 2000 right there, automatic. And then I played Diamond Dire Wolf. I didn't go into Diamond Dire. There's a couple times I wanted to, but I actually won before I put it out. Because I was like, why would I go into Diamond well, Dire Wolf when I have three, three Stellar Knights with the Light Imprisoning on the field? Right. Might as well just attack with them and then deal damage and then go into Cobble. And then I played a Castell. Castell was... I played it. When I did, I lost. <laughs> really? Yeah. Every time I played Castell, I lost. I don't know why. I've never... Like, he's really good. I love him. He's probably one of the favorites in here. But every time I played him today, I lost that game. It was just bad juju. I played a Dweller. I didn't... I used it once, and as soon as it got out, it got it got banished from bottomless. It, I, I didn't need, I didn't see a reason to use it. Played cowboy. That card won me about four or five games. Just like games, not matches, but 800. And I just comes up a lot more than you would think it would. Yeah, it does. It, it helps a lot. And then I played Rhapsody. I didn't go into it a single time. I wanted to. I'm like, I should just go into this against spellbooks and stop them completely. But I have that. I'm just right. going to play that instead. <laughs> Return everything to their hand and then attack for game. Definitely. So that was my extra deck. So is there any changes you make to the main or any comments about it? Uh, I don't recommend this deck for anybody. This deck fucking sucks. I don't really? know how I made it. <laughs> really? Yeah, I hate this deck. That's funny. Partially, this might be why... Because I only played like a seven card extra deck, well, side deck. I, no, eight card extra deck. Side deck. Side deck, I mean. I really didn't have time to build it. Just kind of just threw stuff together and said, I don't know, fuck it. <laughs> See how we do. I played two Fossil Dinas. VP of the side deck. VIP, man. He, he won me at least just about every deck I sided against. Well, I mean, as long as you can keep it on board, I mean, you can't really do much to get over yeah. it. Yeah. Like, I was playing Sylvans, I'm like, fuck, I'm just going to lose. Because I can't do anything against it. They're, they just make fatter guys than me. And then I ended up uh, siding in that and Prohibition. And I seen both of them opening hand. And then I also saw some other stuff just to stop them right. from attacking and all that. So my fossil diner basically sat there and poked for 12 the whole time. And then game three was the same way. Nice. So, just, so just nice and simple. It was just nice and simple. Nice. Two scarecrows, never used it. It was just in there. I think it's better just against Cliff Forts. Did you play against any Cliff Forts at all? Or? No, I didn't I didn't play against Cliff Forts at all. I, I played I played a lot side. of I played three BAs, one shit all. I lost against one BA, and then I played spellbooks. 
and uh, uh, Silver, Silver matchup. I thought I was going to lose the Silver matchup, yeah. but I didn't. Uh, Shadow and Prisoning Mirror, two of them, just because I only have two. I'll, I'll definitely play three. Card's way too good. A little bit. <laughs> and two Prohibitions. The Prohibitions actually helped a lot. How often did you sign them in? Uh, just about every time. Pretty much? Just about every time. Nice. I basically sided in six. I sided in these six every time. Every single game? But just about. And then I would side out like Regeki, Dark Holes. Uh, just just filler stuff you don't need. Yeah, like yeah. Dark Holes, Regeki, Trenchel, like just random stuff. I would never take out any of my monsters though, because this is as slim as I can get. I can't take them out. Right. Well, um, you take any of those out and something yeah. is just gone. Yeah, yeah you, just, you just screwed. But cool. Congrats on your top, man. Thank you. 15 minute deck profile. Thanks for watching, everybody.